Hi, today I'll be talking about the Wudang training method for the footwork. This type of footwork was taught in the the Li Jingling, Guo Qifeng and Fu Zhenzong systems. I'll be talking about this footwork training because this type of basic training is one of the most basic methods that is not often demonstrated. This type of footwork was also mentioned in Huan Yin Xiao's book, 1931 book, Essential Methods of the Wudang Sword. So before we train the footwork exercise, it's important that we set up the proper preparatory work. So the, for preparation of the footwork exercise, we can just stand about just wider the shoulder width apart and then we imagine a straight line from Bai Hui to Hui In and then we align that line with the Dantian. Then we we'll just put our hands on the pelvic handle, elbows a little bit concave forward and then just slowly sink down and align the, your center line to your dantian. So the purpose of this method, the reason why we bring the elbows forward is to open up the back and to stabilize the upper body. Uh, this, this requirement is important while you are training the footwork exercise. So now I'll be adding the footwork training. So once you get into your preparatory requirements, just sit down a little bit, bend your knees, and then just roll out your ankles. Now I'm now I'm just standing on the edge of my feet. And as I walk, I need to be coordinated to try to maintain the requirements that I was talking about from the preparatory. You can just go a little bit slowly just to get used to the, the posture. And then once you're confident with integrating everything with the preparatory exercise, you can go a little bit faster. This type of training helps to train your tendons around the ankle which helps to prevent any injuries and is also an essential requirement when practicing wudan sword techniques. So why are we training this type of training method? The problem when say for sword sparring whenever most commonly people step to the side they don't have any penetrating power to use to apply power to the sword so this training of setting up the upper body activating the tendons this creates an integrated structure like a triangle and once you have this structure consolidated when you step and strike you have you have the angles but also you have the power to reinforce the sword strike so when you are handling the sword most people if they don't have the structure, they'll just step to the side and use like a chi stab. But 
because they don't have the body connection, the power of the sword cannot pierce through. But once you set up the whole structure, and then as I sidestep, then you have the power to reinforce the stab. as opposed to 